Here's Simon Michel from Fig live for you at the camera there. Simon, welcome. So uh, yellow in the shade, Draghi to the fore. Markets seemingly of a mind to believe him for once and not believe Janet. Yes, it's interesting, Carson. Good afternoon. And we certainly saw global yields up on the back of those comments by Draghi. Mm -hmm. He's also uh, mentioned that, you know, although uh, inflation is soft and we know that globally, uh, that uh, the ECB would be prepared to look through that and uh, consider uh, cutting back on the bond buying program possibly some point later this year, mm -hmm. removing some of that stimulus that we've seen. Um, so yields up uh, up about seven basis points in Australia, but um, in the US they didn't really get that movement because you had uh, at the same time the IMF coming out with a mm. downgrade to US growth and uh, obviously a bit of a delay around the um, US Senate uh, healthcare agreement. So, uh, you know, again, a bit of nervousness around the uh, implementation of Trump's program. Yeah, it's kind of, that, that program's got such big question marks over it. Do you get a sense that, uh, that we do see any start this side of Christmas? Look, it's interesting. Uh, the um, IMF basically put down uh, discounting a lot of the Trump tax cuts, the infrastructure that we just haven't yet seen, mm. uh, the challenges he's having at getting some of his policies through as one of the reasons they downgraded their growth forecast. And they actually downgraded it not only for next year but the year after as well, wow. down to 2.1. So that's certainly a key driver there. Uh, you know, every time we see this delay emerge, we definitely see uh, a little bit of a pullback. And uh, we've definitely seen that in uh, US yields, which re remain flat. Uh, while, as I said, over here in Australia, we're up about seven basis points. Yeah, what do we make of uh, what's going on, meanwhile, across the Atlantic? Back in London, uh, never mind Janet Yellen, the Bank of England, upping its capital requirements for banks. They're worried specifically about the lax lending standards that are coming at a time of still anemic wage growth and wondering whether, you know, we've learned anything from the GFC. Do we see parallels with the Australian banking uh, sector to the extent that we are in a holding pattern now over the capital ad adequacy and where we're, we're getting these murmurings from Carney, uh, you're getting a sense that Baal could be set to be the big, uh, I suppose, stick that is waves, uh, the way of the sector globally. Look, a few things there, Carson. I think you're absolutely right. I mean, don't forget we've actually seen uh, one of the Italian banks go down just recently mm. uh, and another couple struggling as well. Uh, on the top of that, you've obviously got uh, the Trump administration in the US looking to uh, remove a lot of those protections, uh, Dodd-Frank, that, uh, that came in after the GFC. So mm. uh, I, I think connecting it to Australia is, 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 is a good way to do it because, you know, we've got the same problem over here. Excessive borrowing, excessive lending off very, very historically low interest rates. Mm -hmm and, uh, you know, supported by uh, low interest rate settings and, and uh, you know, quantitative easing and monetary policy initiatives. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting that you see Draghi now sort of saying, well, we might pull that back because mm -hmm. when you look at equity markets, you know, there's certainly a, a lot of confidence there. We've seen, uh, you know, tremendous support in equity markets over the last six months. Yeah. Uh, but we haven't really seen that either reflected in yield curves, which remain uh, historically low. They mm -hmm. touch recent lows for this year. Uh, all reflected in changes to uh, monetary policy, mm -hmm. uh, except obviously with the US, which is uh, now in a, a hiking phase. You've mm -hmm. still got the rest of the globe uh, in an accommodation phase. So, you know, I think we are getting to a bit of a turning point here. Really brief, finally, domestic issuance, uh, eye on the banks and also an electricity distributor. Yes, absolutely. So we have an electricity distribution, distribution at SGSP Australia. They've gone into the US market and uh, doing an issue over there. And on the back of Westpac last week doing a US dollar issue, we've had NAB come out and do 2.25 billion Aussie. So, uh, as I say, plenty of money out there for these issuers. And demand, uh, what, was the, uh, what was the uptake on the NAB? Uh, uh, very, very, very good demand. Don't have the exact figure, but very good yeah. demand. They got it away very easily at right. a nice margin. Haven't been affected by that recent Moody's downgrade. Yeah. Um, and so, really solid demand. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I can probably tell you a bit later in the week how SGSP goes in the US market.